Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrison, and right behind me is Slippery Rock Creek, raging like there's no tomorrow. You know, we had a lot of snow lately, a lot of snow melt and a lot of rain, and that's the result right over there. And usually it's a bit more tame than this. This is pretty powerful right here. A lot of the sandstone boulders that you can walk out on are completely submerged. A lot of the trees are completely submerged as well. A lot of hemlocks, a lot of the sycamores, and even some maples, and some of the trails completely underwater. Great day to be out here though. Now, even though it's pretty powerful right now, this is only probably a fraction of the force that this water carried with it over 10,000 years ago when the glaciers finally retreated in northwestern Pennsylvania and essentially scooped out this gorge right here, which is Slippy Rock Creek Gorge. Anyway, I want to talk about the color blue today because it's pretty rare to find the color blue in the forest floor. We see a lot of greens, browns, oranges, yellows, reds. Blue's a little harder though, unless you're looking for fungi and other mushrooms. Look at this wood right here. I know it looks kind of green, but to me it looks kind of blue right now. This is actually a fungus on this wood known as the blue-green stain fungus, Chlorosoboria aeruginaceus. And this is actually really common to see wood that looks like this. So the next time you're walking through the woods, look for wood that is stained blue-green. And it's actually a favorite winter hobby of mine. I like looking around, especially when there's snow on the ground, because this blue really pops out. Now, even though it is really common to see it like this, what's rarer to see are the fruiting bodies. And this one actually has fruiting bodies. So I got down on my knees and I looked really, really close and you can see little blue cups. And these are the fruiting bodies. It's actually pretty rare to see those. So if you find wood that looks like this, get down on your knees, drop everything, and put your nose right up against it and see if you can see the fruiting body. It's pretty small right here. Sometimes you'll see it larger. Chlorosivoria aeruginaceans, the blue-green stain fungus, this wood has a unique history. It's been used for centuries by woodworkers, especially in something known as intarsia woodlaying. So if you are a woodworker, maybe you will consider using this fungus in your next project. Anyway, of more aeruginaceans. I think there's another blue fungus farther upstream. So let's go see what we can find. So we moved a bit upstream, and as you can see, the water is somewhat tamer up here. Still, it's moving swiftly, and some of these trees behind me are submerged in water. There's a red oak tree that's underneath the water. Usually you don't see red oak trees underwater here in Pennsylvania. An eastern hemlock tree back there, a birch tree over there. However, we're not here to talk about underwater trees of Pennsylvania. Maybe that'll be a future video. We're here to talk about blue mushrooms and here is the second blue mushroom of the day. This one is conifer bluing bracket or Postia cesia. If you look in field guides, you'll probably see this listed as oligoporus cesia, but the current name is Postia cesia. Postia is a genus of fungi about 30 species in that genus. And Postiacesia actually represents a complex of many species that probably haven't been genetically sequenced. And so some of these species might be different genetically speaking, but I feel comfortable calling this one Postiacesia. This is a polypore mushroom. So on the underside, it has whitish pores. Now these tubes are kind of spreading apart because this is dry. So it almost looks like teeth, but on the top, usually you will see that bluish grayish hue. And that's where Cesia, the species name comes from. That means bluish gray. Now, Postiacesia is a brown rot fungus. Usually we talk about white rot fungi because they seem to be pretty easy to find around here. This is a brown rot fungus, meaning it's helping to break down the cellulose in the wood. Typically, the white rot fungi break down the lignin cellulose, hemicellulose. The brown rot fungi break down the cellulose. And this is breaking down an eastern hemlock tree. Conifer blooming bracket, you're going to find it on conifer trees. Here at McConnell's Mill State Park, pretty much all the conifers are eastern hemlock trees, Suga canadensis. So two blue mushrooms of the day. We found Postiacesia, we found Chlorosibor aeruginaceans, and I'm sure if I look around some more, I could probably find another species or two that would be considered blue. And if you have a favorite blue mushroom, let me know which one it is. I'd be curious to hear all about it. Thanks for watching this video, truly appreciate it. Happy winter mushroom hunting.